Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a big thumbs up. Because it really does help me out. And before we get into the video, I did want to say I have a Patreon account, and I'm going to be posting one video a week that's Patreon exclusive. It will never be shown on this channel. The only way you can see it is if you become a Patreon. I'll link it on the iCard up there and in the description down below. So yes, today's video, as you read in the title, I hope you read the title. If you didn't, you don't know. Um, today we're talking about the time I got illegally detained under Section 2 of the Mental Health Act. Now, quick run over, Section 2 of the Mental Health Act is a 28 day holding power that is authorised by an AMP, doctor and a psychiatrist. The doctor has to be section 12 approved and yeah let's talk about how i was illegally detained under that act so this takes place when i lived in wembling which was six years ago it's been a long fucking time and the police got called i can't remember what for i i, I don't remember the police turned up at my flat and they got me to go outside of my room so i was in the community area and they detained me under section 136 of the mental health act now section 136 of the mental health act is a police holding power for 24 hours can be renewed for up to 12 hours after for assessment under the mental health act they take you to a place of safety a hospital psych ward police station police station's not the best and they're actually looking at banning that now so there is that but yeah i got taken to a hospital called park royal which is a mental health hospital in but anyway i was taken to this hospital under 136 i was taken into a room that's for 136 patients i wasn't allowed my phone which pissed me off because when you're in hospital in the uk you are allowed your phone and it, it was a bit peculiar, they wouldn't let me have my phone. Then one doctor walks in, one doctor, now this is the key information here, one doctor walks in and assesses me, goes out the room to discuss with colleagues, when mine was a window, I could literally see what he was doing. And he came back in so with detaining you under section 2 of the Mental Health Act. Now, I wasn't assessed by a Section 12 approved doctor, I wasn't assessed by an independent psychiatrist, I was not assessed by an AMP, and an AMP is the essential part of getting detained under Section 2. You have to see an AMP. If you don't know what an AMP is, AMP stands for Approved Mental Health Practitioner. But I never saw those people. I saw one doctor who worked for that hospital, who then detained me under Section 2, which he can't do and proceeded to drag me onto a ward that had mice. I, I did get hold of my phone for about 30 minutes. I was talking to Serenity and it was honestly the worst admission I've ever had. And that's saying something. I've had some pretty horrific admissions. But they, they took my phone off me again because I, kept, I, was I was talking to Serenity on the phone about the mice. And then someone came out of the room, grabbed my phone, hung up, took it and put it in the office. Like, what the fuck? I was there for three days. I didn't eat anything. I didn't drink anything. Didn't take any meds. And that was it. That was the illegal admission. I was discharged after three days. I didn't see a psychiatrist on that ward, so... Somehow I got discharged from my illegal section. Which I, I just think is so wrong that that happened. I haven't ever talked about this because it's, I don't want to spread negativity when it comes to mental health treatment. I want to try and encourage people to reach out for support. But... Bad things do happen. And... I think it's only fair that I share them stories as well. Like, I'm not saying that this is going to happen to you, and I'm not saying this has happened to any anyone else. This is what happened to me. 
about six years ago. And honestly, basically I got illegally detained in Section 2 of the Mental Health Act. Now, that doesn't happen every day. And I have my notes from this admission. And there's no psychiatrist signing off on me being discharged. There's no, there's no recommendation from an AMP for a Section 2. So really, I don't know what they were playing at. Because, well... I don't think I needed sectioning. I was suicidal, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't actively doing anything to try and end my life. I was just suicidal. And again, I can't even remember how the police showed up, but... But yeah, these things occur and people don't talk about it, so I'm going to talk about it. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, and if you are new, subscribe, join the growing family, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.